It's the Sunday Classics. Today, Walt Disney's Robin Hood. Welcome to Sherwood Forest in merry old England, where adventure and laughter await. Here's a story of the most famous hero who ever lived, Robin Hood. He lived in Sherwood Forest, just outside Nottingham Town, with his big friend Little John and his outlaw band of merry men. Yes, Robin Hood was an outlaw. You see, while good King Richard was off defending England, Richard's brother, the silly and wicked Prince John, took over the throne. Prince John was just as greedy as he was silly. The more taxes and gold he collected, the more he wanted. He sent his sheriff to get every coin in Nottingham. Robin and his band of merry men fled to the forest and became outlaws. They outsmarted Prince John at every turn. They stole the gold from the rich and gave it right back to the poor. And Robin was the boldest, craftiest one of them all. Meanwhile, in the castle, the kind and beautiful Maid Marian sat wistfully at her window. She and Robin Hood were secretly in love. She wished they could marry, but then she said, He's probably forgotten all about me. And deep in Sherwood Forest, Robin Hood was thinking of his lady love. I love her, he told Little John, but it just wouldn't work. She's a high-born lady of quality. One day, a grand event took place. The Tournament of the Golden Arrow to judge the best archer in the kingdom. Archers from all over England began to arrive in Nottingham. A crowd gathered to eat, play games, and watch the Grand Golden Arrow Contest. As for the prize, it was to be a kiss from the lovely Maid Marian. This will be my greatest achievement, proclaimed Robin. The fanfare started and the drums rolled to announce the start of the contest. The archers marched past Prince John. Hmm, thought Maid Marian. I think that stork looks like... The stork winked at Maid Marian. Of course, the stork was the best of all the archers. Even when the villainous sheriff tried to mess up the stork's aim, thwack, he hit a perfect bullseye every time. Prince John smiled slyly. The best marksman in the kingdom could only be. Prince John ripped at Robin's disguise with his sword. He knew he must be Robin Hood. No other archer could be that good. Seize him, Prince John ordered his guards. But Robin Hood had good friends. They battled the guards and saved Robin Hood from Prince John. Long live King Richard, shouted Robin as he scooped up Maid Marian and disappeared into the forest. While Alan Adale sang of life, laughter, and love, Robin Hood and Maid Marian joined the merry men, dancing long into the night. Back at the castle, Prince John snarled, Double the taxes! Triple the taxes! Before long, Robin Hood's friends had been thrown into prison. How could Robin Hood get past the guards? By disguising himself as a guard, of course, and stealing the keys. While Little John set everyone free, Robin slipped into Prince John's room, where the prince lay sleeping, surrounded by the royal treasure. Robin rigged up a rope and pulley, to lower the sacks of gold out the window to the merry men who were waiting below. Robin Hood had just begun his escape when Prince John woke up. 
They're getting away with my gold, sobbed Prince John. Guards, to the jail! Ouch! exclaimed Robin, as the castle archers shot arrow after arrow his way. Robin's friends fled from the castle while the sheriff set the tower on fire. But where was Robin? Would he escape? Yes! With flames licking at his heels, Robin leaped from the castle wall and escaped into the forest. Prince John had lost again. A few days later, good King Richard returned to his castle. All the land was filled with joy, but who was the most joyful? Why, Robin Hood and Maid Marian, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 